Kevin Stefanski, board certified psychiatrist I am. Let me explain something to you. Your quarterback's weak-minded. That's a proven fact. He worries about what everyone says about him. So we already know he's weak-minded. Also, and I think you realize this too, because um, you know how they kept Beckham out of week one and week two? I think Stefanski in his heart of hearts knows that Mayfield can't play with Beckham. So we kept him out of week one because he wanted to give us a chance to win that game in KC. And what happened? We had a chance to win it at the end, and Mayfield fucking choked. Week two, we needed the win. He didn't want to start out 0-2 because he could have played Beckham. Held him out again. We got a win. We're 1-1. One and one. Then he starts playing Beckham. I want you to think about that. He sat Beckham the first two weeks because he didn't want to lose the opener. He knew with Beckham we'd definitely lose it because Mayfield can't play with him. And he didn't want to start out 0-2, so he kept Beckham on the sideline. What's that tell you? That tells you you got a weak-minded quarterback. You know why? Because Baker Mayfield, for whatever reason, when Odell Beckham's in that lineup, he just is not a good quarterback. And it's a proven fact. It happened It happened the first year with Freddie Kitchens. Baker Mayfield was working year. He was great. Freddie Kitchens comes in, uh, Odell Beckham's place, and he goes downhill. Started out the same way last season. Beckham gets hurt. Mayfield takes off. You can't sit there and look at this and say, well, that's, that's just something. No, it, that's, that's facts. You have to look at it. That's facts. When Odell Beckham is on the field with uh, Baker Mayfield, Baker Mayfield's not a good quarterback. And that's an indictment on Baker Mayfield being weak-minded. He's obsessed with trying to get the ball to Odell Beckham. Even when Beckham's covered or whatever, he's obsessed. He can't go through his reads normal. So you have no choice but to trade Beckham. Or bench Mayfield. It's one or the other. Put Keenan in. Whatever, I don't care. I could care less who the quarterback is. If Case Daniel Keenum can play with Beckham on the field, then you know what? You bench Mayfield and play Keenan. I have. I think Case Keenan can play with Beckham. But it's quite evident that Baker Mayfield can't play with Beckham. And when Beckham's not in the lineup, Baker Mayfield's definitely a better quarterback. And you know how they say, Baker Mayfield is rookie year. He was playing. He was a different quarterback. And that's because he was allowed to throw the ball downfield. You go look at the passes. Now, he played, he played lights out. And this offense that Stefanski run, he doesn't go downfield enough. He doesn't give him a chance to show his talents. So Mayfield right now isn't the same quarterback because of Kevin Stefanski's offense. And um, it's troubling because he, he's turned him into a game manager. But like I said, I could care less. So you got one or two choices. You trade, you bench Mayfield for Keenan or you trade Beckham. Me personally, if you can get something for Beckham, let's do it. Because it's quite evident. We don't need Beckham. You can say, oh, we need him. We want to win a Chiefs game, whatever. It's You're not going to win a Chiefs game with Beckham. Mayfield can't play with him. And the, quite frankly is we could have beat the Chiefs without Beckham. With our defense the way it is now, we could have beat the Chiefs. Mayfield, for fucking, he blew the game. He threw an interception in the game. He said he was trying to throw it out of bounds, whatever. But um, there's a fact that Mayfield can't play with Beckham. It's just fucking fact. And without Beckham on the field, Mayfield's actually a good quarterback in your system, and he's actually a better quarterback without your system when you let him throw downfield. Let Alex Van Pelt call plays. That's what you need to do. Let Alex Van Pelt call plays and watch Mayfield will flourish, but you got to get rid of Beckham. Browns can't just say, we can't get rid of Listen, it doesn't work. We've tried it for three years. It doesn't work because your quarterback is mentally weak. If Mayfield was Mayfield, maybe he can't process. I don't know. He just can't play with Beckham. And if you can get something vi- valuable for Beckham, you do it. You do it. You get draft picks. Someone will want Beckham. There's a contender out there that has draft picks that will want Beckham. Trust me when I tell you. And that's what you do. You get rid of Beckham. It's, I'm sorry. You got DPJ. You don't seem to get any shots in. Donovan Peoples Jones doesn't even get the ball thrown to him anymore. He's a weapon. We don't throw him the ball no more. He's a weapon. You got Schwartz who can take the back and top end off of defense. He's just got to get a little better. Uh, we got Hollywood Higgins. We got receivers that maybe you're waiting for Jarvis Landry to come back, but I believe the Browns are going to trade Beckham. It's a lot easier to trade a receiver than to find a quarterback. And maybe we'd like to see if Case Daniel Keenum can play with Beckham. I don't mind that. If you want to bench Mayfield and put Keenum in, maybe Case Daniel Keenum plays. Maybe Beckham takes off with Keenum. I don't know. But you got a dilemma. And I think the easiest way to do it is to get some draft picks for uh, Beckham and go. Because Mayfield will never be able to play with Beckham. I thought Mayfield would be over that stage by now. I call it the big brother syndrome where he looks up to Beckham or something. I don't know. I, I don't know what it is. But mentally, 
he can't play the position with Beckham. It's a fact. He can't play the position. With Beckham on the field, he's preoccupied. He's, he's not even looking at his other targets. He, he's not even looking at Felton wide open because he's preoccupied with trying to get the ball to Beckham. So, if you want to start Keenan, I got no problem with that. If you want to trade Beckham, I got no problem with that. But you got to do something. Because there's, I do believe that uh, Stefanski kept Beckham out of the first two weeks of the season because he wanted to win the opener. And I think he realized when Beckham's in the game, Mayfield's just not. And he, I, listen, I know he sees it. He's a, he's a smart guy. He sees it. They know it. And they know there's a problem. And that's why he kept Beckham out opening game. And that's why he kept him out the second week because he didn't want to start the season 0 2. And that's, I think he was worried about that. So, yes, you have to um, do something. And I don't care if you've got to bench uh, Mayfield and put Keenan in. If Keenan comes in, if Keenan starts against the Chargers and we take off with Beckham, then guess what? Mayfield can ride the pe- bench and be a backup. That's fine. I. I want to win. I'm not a quarterback. I'm not a fan of a quarterback. I'm a fan of a team. And you got to do what's best for the team right now. And if that's starting Case Keenan, then you do it. If Mayfield, and it's an indictment on Mayfield's weak mind if he can't play with Beckham. That's embarrassing. And that, that tells you right now that may, he may never be the guy. But he is definitely a different quarterback when Beckham's not on the field. So you got a couple of choices to make. Start Keenum. Start Mayfield. Bench Beckham. Trade Beckham, whatever. You got to do something because we can't lose this game against the Chargers. We have to beat this team, and I think we can. But um, if, if Mayfield, hey, if you start Mayfield and Beckham and Mayfield plays terrible again, then guess what? We got to roll with uh, Keenan the rest of the season. I've seen enough of Mayfield. When you got a quarterback that can't play with a certain receiver, you know, it's time to go. You guys think of what I'm talking about, and, I, and what I say is the truth. I know it. I think Stefanski knows it. And I do think the Browns are trying to move Beckham. I think they're waiting for Landry to come back. And uh, I think Beckham will be moved because you're not going to move a quarterback when you can move a receiver. Let's be honest. Beckham never fit in Cleveland. We've had it. Everyone says, oh, it'll get, take time. It's three years. It's not working. It's obviously not working. 